this is this is what you see in the Bahamas now. You can see the spines we we're talking about. Mm -hmm. And see how sharp those things are? So that's definitely not something you'd want to get stuck with. Mm -hmm. And the skin covering that, that covers those spines just peels out of the way. Oh, wow. So if you took your fingernail, you could kind of rub around the edge of this spine and feel that groove uh -huh. we're talking uh -huh. about. The venom denatures fairly quickly, mm -hmm. but it's temperature dependent. Mm -hmm. So the longer they're on ice or if they're frozen, you're preserving the venom. Okay. Cooking would denature it. It can't stand heat. So that would you could even leave the spines on and cook it and there's no, okay. there's no venom. The, the dorsal spines across the back, they're talking about 13 of these. Very long, large. I mean, some of these things get up close to five or six inches long. The pelvic fins on the bottom of the fish. Ha most of these are, fin are, are rays, so they're flexible. But the very first element here is a spine. See that one? So on either side on the bottom. And then the anal fin down here has three short spines. Fish fins typically have spines and rays. And rays are soft and flexible and the spines are stout. And the spines are what are venomous on the, mm -hmm. on the lionfish. Then the heads, since they're members of the scorpion fish family, are really bony. You can see or feel the cheeks on that. Mm -hmm. You asked if they have teeth. So, um, is that a dinner? That's the last thing <laughs> many fish see <laughs> before they disappear. Okay, so you can see, you know, when this fish opens its mouth up wide, there's quite a lot that could go in there. Is, is that a fish? That's a fish in its mouth. Uh, you are so right. There's See, we haven't even dissected oh these fish. Oh, my God. He showed us a picture of one. They call it in the <laughs> belly. Oh, my God. What is that? That's a... Uh, it looks like a yellow... It looks like a little goat fish. Yep. <laughs> wow. A couple things that can be done. Um, a, a lot of people, especially in the islands, like to eat their fish whole. So you would just you would just gut it and then scale it. The scales come off very easily when you scale the fish, and they're and they're very small. I don't want to get them all over the kitchen, right? Oh no, there's worse. So you can see the <laughs> the scales are really small scales, and they mm -hmm. come off really easily. So you could scale it, gut it, and then. Fry it whole, or many ways to prepare a whole fish. Uh, it looks like he's got some stuff in his gut. He too. might still, or she, we don't know. We'll see. We'll <laughs> um, I like to fillet the fish that are larger like this, and then you can use the fillets however you want. So, so when we fillet, well, a couple other things. People that are nervous about handling the fish because of the spines, just, make just take a pair of scissors. Cut them right off. Cut them right oh. off. It's really simple to cut these spines off, and, and you just cut them off anywhere down here near the base. As we mentioned, there's no venom gland at the bottom of the spine, so it's not like you have to avoid cutting something. Even if you just cut the spines off halfway, they're blunt, and you're not going to stick yourself with them. Oh. So it's oh, easy wow. to just cut the spines off, and then you can deal with it that way. Uh, I've handled these a lot, and typically when you fillet a fish, they're flat, and the spines lay flat as well. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to take them off, and as long as you watch what you're doing, you don't. There's not that much to worry about. All right. So when I fillet, I like to. Most of the meat is up here in the back. There's not. The stomach is usually pretty thin as far as meat go. Meat goes. So I like to try to get as much as I can from the top. So you make one cut right behind these horns, but in front of the spine, and just come right down across the fish here. So we just mm -hmm. kind of. Pierce the skin. Mm -hmm. And then we go down the back, the same thing, right along the spines. So come right down the back, this way. And then the same thing on the stomach of the fish, from this cut, the first cut I made, down to the tail. So right along, just breaking the skin. Now, now a couple things. You could just go ahead and just fillet this fish right now and leave the skin on, mm -hmm. scale it and leave it on. And some people like that. They like skin on. It still has some of the pattern. So if you were to cook it, there'd still be that. Or if you're going to put it in a display case, you know, having that skin on there can be appealing. The skin also comes off really easily. And I like to take the skin off of mine. So if you just oh, lift wow. this corner really up and, and get a good grip on it, you can just peel it right off. Wow. 
And you can see how pretty that. I mean, it's nice white. <laughs> really pretty. Trout, things like yeah. that. Crazy, but not. Okay, so I usually peel the skin back like this. You can take it all the way out. And then using the knife, just kind of run down the back, the back bone here. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of meat on there. I oh, was yeah. not expecting there to be that much. About 30, about 30 percent, 28 to 32 percent of the weight of the fish is fillet. Yeah, no, I've so, definitely heard that before, that you can lose a lot of meat if you fillet it badly. Yeah. Or it's if you not that, tried to fillet a fish with a camping knife. It's not that, hard. yeah. <laughs> I filleted a sun fish before they make good fish nuggets. So you can, <laughs> you can see that's a nice little fillet that came off there. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. and, and the rib bones stay in here if you fillet well. You can... You can miss the rib bones, and they don't have a lot of free-floating bones in the oh, body wow. at all. So, it's like a so this is boneless. Mm -hmm. yep. really if you want to cut time. that up into bites <laughs> or to little pieces for ceviche, it's really good as lionfish ceviche. Um, mm -hmm. It's not very strong flavored. It's really mild. And, like flounder? And, and light. What's that? Like flounder? Kind of like flounder, a little more like grouper or hogfish oh, okay. as far as the taste goes. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. but, but it's not a strong flavored fish, so you can season it many different ways, and lots of ways to season it, and it really takes that well. So we have, we can do the same thing on the on the other side of the fish, just kind of. What else? I want to see what's in the gut. Oh, I knew somebody wanted to see. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, we were talking about the the female egg masses. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the egg masses or the ovaries, female ovaries on one side. And if we look on the other side of the stomach, we'll see another one of those over here. Wow. So that's, those are egg masses are that she would have spawned. Ready to be, Not uh, quite ready. Yeah, she, it would still be a bit more hydration. They, they hydrate a lot before they spawn. So maybe in another day or two. And then the stomach is right here, and there's still more fish in here. I can feel it. So that's the stomach. A more. Mm -hmm. the, the stomach of a lionfish uh, can expand up to 30 times its empty size. That's why that one fish had 21 grunts. Wow. They just keep eating and that stomach just keeps expanding out. So usually we use some um, dissecting scissors to, um, to open this up. Let's just, I think we can cut it out this way. What's their predator in the Pacific? Nobody knows. Even there, in the Pacific. No, no, no. We don't know what controls the population. Of the they Pacific. haven't really been studied. They're not really a problem, so nobody's really yeah. putting or has put. It's um, suspected that either there's something out there that, that eats their larvae or their eggs, or that there's some sort of okay. pathogen or other disease Let's that can control the population. Oh, but no one's actually done the research because there's been no reason to fund the research in the Pacific. Is there, are they doing it now? They're, well, they're trying, they're trying to figure stuff out for the Atlantic, but it's, it's expensive yeah. and the situation is changing mm -hmm. very quickly. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. These are, okay. These are other fish larvae. Really stupid question. These are all <laughs> rasses. <laughs> no, no, it wasn't. We just learned about how they That's release right. their they eggs. They do babies, they do eggs. <laughs> so these are one, two, three, four, five, six rasses. Oh. That that. I like so we had a nice sized goatfish and six rasses that came out of that stomach. Yeah.